Kate Middleton, the newly minted Princess of Wales, and Camilla Parker Bowles, the newly minted Queen Consort, are expected to wear tiaras when King Charles III makes his first state visit in November. Please subscribe for more updates. Buckingham Palace announced that King Charles host South African President Cyril Ramaphosa and his wife, Dr. Chipo Motsip, during their visit to the United Kingdom in late November, which will be Charles's first state visit as king. Queen Elizabeth II oversaw state visit banquets during her reign, and King Charles III likely to follow in his mother's footsteps. The royal family will most likely host a dinner at Buckingham Palace during the visit, so working royals should dress royally. That means tiaras for Princess Kate and Queen Camilla. Kate Middleton has donned a tiara on a few occasions over the last decade. The Princess of Wales first wore a tiara on her wedding day in 2011, when she wore the Cartier Halo tiara. She has also worn a tiara during several state visits, including one in 2015 with Chinese President Xi Jinping and his wife, Peng Liyun. The last time Middleton wore a tiara was in December 2019 for a reception hosted by the Queen at Buckingham Palace for members of the diplomatic corps. Camilla Parker Bowles wears tiaras on similar occasions, but not at her 2005 wedding to King Charles III. Because this is the royal family, there are strict rules about who can wear which tiaras and when. Typically, Queen Elizabeth loaned tiaras to Kate, Camilla, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, and Meghan Markle, who wore Queen Mary's bandeau tiara on her wedding day. According to some royal experts, each tiara is on loan for the person's entire lifetime. The Queen lent the Princess of Wales three tiaras, including the Cartier Halo tiara and the Lotus Flower tiara, once owned by Princess Margaret, though she appears to prefer the Cambridge Lover's Knot tiara, previously owned by Princess Diana. However, after Queen Elizabeth's death, it's possible that Kate or Camilla will inherit a tiara once worn by the late monarch. We won't know for sure until November.